But uh, next, I think, is the big one, isn't it? It's the big one. What? It's the it's, big one. It's the one causing issues. <laughs> yeah, man. This was... Uh, I've never in my life seen a match like this before with my own two eyes. I... I don't I don't watch like a lot of CZW and deathmatch shit. Ever. I don't watch that stuff either and I would say right. historically in AEW uh I have not been in love with the deathmatches. Uh I've not like if they're done well enough I'm okay with it. There just never seems to be any like psychology I think behind it. So there's yeah. no like stakes in them besides like I'm gonna blow you up basically. Uh, yeah, yeah. But this fucking match, which was Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland, uh, I was in love with. I don't know if, uh, and we can disagree all you want. We went to the Friends Given. I saw people there that didn't give a shit about <laughs> AEW, and they were even like, I fucking love this match. Uh, but I will say there were like three or four different instances in the match where I was like, all right, that's got to be enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I, I'm, so- I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, this, this match is like, it's challenging a lot of the match of the year candidates right now. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll say before I get into the obvious 10 out of 10 drip, drip rating that I'm going to about oh, to give. drip rating. And I didn't notice, uh, Swerve was wearing the Terry Funk pants and he almost, was, yeah, he was, uh, yeah. The Bray Wyatt, the Bray Wyatt pants too. Yeah. Like the stripes on them. Yeah. And I lied and said that we had a drip of the night earlier. Well, that is a drip of the night. The drip of the night stays the same, but, we do also have another 10-10 drip. This is 10-10. Um, yeah, Nana uh, had dancers. Nana had backup dancers. Nana out. had dancers and then yeah. hit that choreography That was perfectly. Perfect. That was perfect. That, that was man, perfect. That got moves. And then, of course, like, you know, Hangman, I'm never not going to give Hangman a 10 in the drip department. He wrestled in fucking cowboy boots. He wrestled. insane. He wrestled the best match and like did the best that he's done <laughs> in cowboy boots in years in cowboy boots. I need dude. a pair of those. I need a pair of those because I got boots <laughs> anyway. So the and those cowboy boots like, looked stiff, my man. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what type of soles he has in them things, but you were moving, Hangman. Um, <laughs> I'll say, hit, man. Well, yeah, go. No, I was gonna say like the 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 psychology of this match was perfect because in this in, in this instance, everything that Swerve has done. Everything that Adam Page has said, this is the type of blow-off match you want. Um, Page didn't even have an entrance. He came out already going in. He spammed his finisher, like, early. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So from there, it set the tone. Um, well, there was way, there was so much stuff in this match, it's hard to even. Like, I was trying to write notes, and somewhere in here, I just put so many spots. <laughs> like, so many spots. Yeah, like, so it's like, spots. It's, like, it's so much. It's a lot to watch. Uh, uh but I knew it was like go time when I saw that first buckshot because for all the people, because I see online a lot where people are like, well, Logan Paul does a better buckshot than Hangman Adam Page. And I was like, not that fucking buckshot. That he, like he had yeah. some pop on that motherfucker. That, that one was uh, perfect. And just wrecked. wrecked he, made sure, he made sure he hit that one good. He was like, we're starting the match off. There's going to be no botches in this match. But there was so no good. botches in the match. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. Especially with like AEW being AEW. I love AEW, but goddamn, they botch a lot of stuff, especially in these types of matches. Um, with, this, with the level of pain. Like there was a point where Swerve started stapling himself to show he was a sicko. And I was well, like. This is, this is what I'm going to say. So, you go from that spam the buckshot straight into violence. Yeah, like uh, straight, straight into it. No break. Uh, and was Swerve busted open before the stapler bit or after? Um, he might have been busted. He busted open before that. No, it was after. I, I can't remember. I can't remember. I think he was bleeding down his face when he was stapling his chest. So Yeah, I think uh, it was before that. Yeah, yeah. But this man, uh, he hit an artery, bro. He took, he put mocks <laughs> to shame. He put, 
He put Cody Rhodes to shame. He hit an artery, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I've only seen one other person that was Dustin Rhodes bleed like that in AEW. But that was a whole different level. It was streaming to the point where I was like, they might got to stop this match. <laughs> you, you, you saw when he dumped that water on his head and more blood came out in the crowd. Yeah. Went, oh, like the crowd audibly groaned when they saw that. And then Hangman oh, loving yeah. his shots uh, took a shot of fucking Swerve Strickland's blood and blew it out like Triple H into the ether. And this was uh, like right after. And then got his him mouth is just fucking covered in blood. Yeah. I... Gonna, they are going to make a, an action figure set of these two, buddy, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Dude, I can't. I'm, I'm buying that action. I own three <laughs> hangmans. I, and I have like a rule that I don't want to buy multiple of the people, but that I got to get yeah. this. Yeah. That one, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, I can't wait for the shirt, too. The like blood shirt that I'm never oh, going to be able to wear anywhere. Um, oh, but. Man. But when he did the shot, I turned to Eric and I was like, I don't know if I like this match. Like, I was like, <laughs> uh, but I think it was right after that when he started doing the staples on his own chest. And I was like, I'm back, baby. That is psychopath shit. <laughs> yeah. It was like, there was a lot, man. I, I will say, like, I understand how somebody can hate on a match like this. But to me, I think, like, there's a certain there's a comes a certain point where you have to give it up for a level of genius that goes into like the thought on certain spots. Like Hangman got brain bustered onto an actual cinder block on the apron, right? And then later in the match, Swerve hits him with the cinder block. Now we know the cinder that was block not, is, is that worse, was not concrete, but it right? was but, but it was cool that he did a move on a real one earlier to kind of sell you the illusion. And that it was, was cool cinema, that cinema. that prop actually exploded because yes, a lot right of way. times that shit doesn't explode. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Somebody was watching out for these motherfuckers because <laughs> yeah, everything yeah. worked out right. They yeah. did those fucking because the the ending was just like them spamming the fucking uh, countouts. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and there were so many close calls with that countout that I was like. Surely they're gonna fuck this up somehow, and they're just gonna right. ignore that somebody didn't get up in time. But every one of those get ups was like it looked like they were fighting for it, and it, when they finally did get up, it looked like they were on the verge of falling back down. Like, bro, it bro, the, was the one, so cool. The one where Prince Nana literally pulls Swerve out of the ring to stand him up, and then starts doing the dance. <laughs> Nana was crushing it in this. Uh, and this is why this is why he is the number one manager in AEW. Number yeah, two yeah. is Luther now, but Nana is the number one manager in AEW. Okay, all right, for sure, for sure. Uh, I Don Callis, that. Don Callis, you got some, you got some competition right now. Baby. He's got that heat, but uh, yeah. but whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It just, it was brutal in the way it needed to be for that, you know, for that lead up. Yeah, I think that um I thought the promo with Hangman and uh and Swerve and Nana the the Wednesday before was perfect where yeah. he had like the I was told that we're not allowed to fight each other, but nobody said nothing about Nana and then like just the beat the shit, shit out of Nana. The funniest shit was he was like, Yeah, Nana, I hear all you do is spend your paycheck on weed anyway. Well guess what? <laughs> I'm going to beat your ass and I'm going to take your weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's some white boy in high school shit. I was, I was shocked. I was like, did they just say that on Dynamite? <laughs> uh, but it's, that shit was funny as fuck. It was, it was such a good match. I don't know. Yeah, this is going to like stick in my mind for a long time. This is going to uh, go This is gonna go down as as probably the, the best, easily the best Texas death match in AEW history, but... Probably the best hardcore match yeah, in AEW did, history, like, for sure. The fucking, uh, that barbed wire chair looked as lethal as I've ever seen barbed wire look. Uh, when Hangman did the fucking, uh, the moonsault off the turnbuckle to the floor with the chair on his chest. Yeah. And hit it perfectly. Like, yeah. it was so wild. Yeah, they 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 really just went out there, and that was a match. You can tell that they put their entire 
hard blood, sweat, and tears into that match, man. They're going to be tied together at the hip for the rest of their careers. Everybody. And this was this was the second the match breath. too. So do yeah. we get a third? A trilogy I think, match. I think for now, I think for now. Yeah, it might be good. That, I mean, that was crazy. But you can uh, come back to it. When, one day when Swerve is the champion, maybe come back to it. You know? The barbed wire in the fucking mouth at one point. Like, that was why, like, I don't even know. Uh, usually I'm grossed out by this, but like, I was just kind of like in awe the whole match. I was yeah. Like, this yeah, is so you cool. You could tell. You could tell they were. To me, like, and like, this is the thing. I love Cornette. We didn't see something about Cornette earlier. I love Cornette, but like, you, I feel like he does certain things just to get like a reaction a lot of times because to me, there is no way you couldn't watch this match and know the history of hardcore wrestling and professional wrestling and not think that this was like the closest thing I've seen to a simulated fight in a wrestling ring. Like, it was like they were trying to kill each other. That's the, that's the closest I've ever seen anybody. To like it, kill somebody. It felt, like a, it felt like a Terry Funk match. It felt yeah. like, uh, yeah. and, and you know, I was too young to watch those as they were happening. So I've like gone <laughs> back and watched them and I'm like, oh, this is brutal. But you know, it's, yeah. it's 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Um, but this was awesome. Finishing with Hangin' Hangman, because Hangman used to, I guess, hang people in ROH. That was like, uh, yeah, yeah, that's his gimmick. Hangman that out of was page. His gimmick. It's called Reparations, um, baby. <laughs> the amount of TikToks that I saw that were just that thing of swerve hanging Hangman and uh, just like black creators on TikTok being like, hang him, baby. Reparations. <laughs> like, was wild. I was like, there's a lot of this. <laughs> I should make that. I should make that my Avi on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> um, but yeah, just like merch wise, I can see so much shit uh, from this match. Like I like I want a shirt of the barbed wire in the mouth or uh, Swerve hanging him, like they did with that Brit shirt from uh, her like oh, tables, yeah, ladders, yeah. and chair match. Or when her, her, nose, when her nose match. is broken or whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but that that was the peak of the night. Uh, that was I skipped the next match I didn't even watch the next match just indeed brothers and sisters if you enjoyed this clip from the podcast be sure to get funky like a monkey baby and click the link in the description below for the full episode available now baby on Spotify and Apple Podcasts or wherever you find your podcast at oh it's on like King Kong <laughs>